Late last night, we got a surprise update for EA College Football 25. Now, this came out of nowhere and wasn't really expected. However, there is another update supposedly coming, hopefully, next week for the game, as we've been about six weeks since the last really big update. But they did manage to sneak a small one in there for us, so I'm going to go over the things that changed in this video. Now, in terms of the rest of the updates for 25 or the upcoming news and leaks that we've been getting for College Football 26, if you don't want to miss out on any of those types of videos, make sure to subscribe and turn the bell icon on. That way you never miss any of these important videos when they drop. You know, more than half of you that watch the videos aren't subscribed, so you could be missing out on some very important information. So late yesterday, we did have a small update to EA Sports College Football 25, and it was a roster update. Now, this is kind of a big deal for college because we don't get roster updates every week like we do for Madden. So we usually go about three to four weeks between roster updates and with how things are moving in college football there's tons of people that constantly need to be tweaked either up or down and i'm here to tell you about all of the big name players that moved so we're going to start out with the first player in the top 100 that moved, and that is going to be Will Johnson, the cornerback of Michigan. He actually went down one to a 96 overall, so now he's technically the second highest rated corner in the game, or maybe the first highest, depending on how you look at it, because Travis Hunter does play both ways, but he's listed as a wide receiver in the game, but Will Johnson is now technically, I guess, the second rated corner in the game. Next up, we've got Shador Sanders, who was already the highest rated quarterback in the game, and he goes up yet again. He goes up one to a 95, so previously he was a 94 overall. He'll probably be the first QB taken in the draft, and he's had a pretty good year. Next up, we've got Abdul Carter of Penn State. He went up one in this roster update to a 95 overall, and I think he is now, or maybe he was already, but I believe he is tied for the highest rated edge rusher in the game. Next up, we've got Xavier Watt the safety from Notre Dame he went up one to a 95 overall in this update and he also got a speed increase plus one to 87 so anytime you get a speed increase that's pretty important because speed is everything in these games so he is now a little bit faster as well speaking of Penn State Tyler Warren went up plus two to a 95 overall and he is now tied for the highest rated tight end in the game before this update it was Fanning Jr. who was the highest by a couple points but now after the way Ty Warren has been playing he has now got brought up there with them which I think makes sense because I think he's probably gonna be the top tight end drafter this year maybe Loveland still could be I don't know I guess it's kind of a toss-up between those two in my opinion but Tyler Warren has had a really fantastic season and speaking of Harold Fanning Jr., he actually did go up as well. So before this update, he was a 94 and Warren was a 93. Harold Fanning went up 1 to a 95. Warren went up 2 to a 95. So they both did see an increase. Next up, we've got Malachi Moore of the Crimson Tide. He actually went up 3 to a 95 overall. So he is now tied with Starks for the highest rated strong safety. But a plus 3 boost this late in the year is pretty big. Now we're going to continue on with the other guys that went up or went down, but really quickly I do want to shout out today's video sponsor, Underdog. If you're into sports and you like winning money, then you've got to be on Underdog playing their pick'em game. Basically all you have to do is pick higher or lower on player stats, and if they hit, you can win some good money. But the thing I love most about Underdog is they give you free plays and they'll give you free money to start with. So for example, if you want to sign up and play for this NFL Sunday, they're going to give you Justin Herbert to get a single yard. That means all you have to do is pass for one yard and that's it, you win. If you want to wait for Monday night, for example, well, they're going to give you CD Lamb to get a single yard. And no matter when you sign up, there's going to always be a free play just like this for you to take advantage of. And if you sign up using my code Ray, R-A-Y, they're going to also give you up to $1,000 in bonus cash at sign up, and you just can't beat that. Moving on here, we have Omarion Hampton going up plus one to a 95 overall, which now ties him for the second highest rated running back in the game with Quinshawn Judkins. Next up, we've got Jack Sawyer of Ohio State. He's going up plus one to a 94 overall. He is now tied for the highest rated left in in the game and he's been having a really good season going back to the halfbacks we've got Caleb Johnson who was going up quite a bit this year he is the 28th highest ranked player in the entire game and he started the year not even in the top 50 so he's going up quite a lot this year he's going up plus two in this update to a 93 overall next up we've got Noah Williams another guy that's going up quite a ton this year he is in the top 30 ranked players but before the season he was outside of the top 50 as well He's going up plus two to a 93 overall. He's now tied for the second highest rated cornerback in the game, or I guess technically third because Travis Hunter does still count as a corner as well. Another guy that's going up quite a bit this year, we've got Nick Iman Wari of the South Carolina Gamecocks. They've had a good season. He's had a great season. He's going up plus one to a 93 overall. 
Next up, we've got Ashton Gillard of the Louisville Cardinals. He's going up plus one to a 93 overall. So he's now in that upper echelon of those left ends in the game. Next up, we've got a guy that's going down yet again. Ollie Gordon going down one to a 93 overall. He has had not that good of a season compared to last year. He started this year as the clear cut number one running back in EA Sports College Ball 25. And he has tumbled down quite a bit. He is the 41st ranked player in the entire game now. And to start Start the year he was inside of the top 20 so he's definitely come down quite a bit up next we've got Jade Barron of the Texas Longhorns he's kind of been I think both up and down this year if I remember correctly but he's going up this time around plus two to a 92 overall one of the higher rated cornerbacks in the game Going back to the halfbacks yet again, we've got Devin Neal of Kansas. He goes up plus one to a 91 overall, and his speed also got an increase too, which is pretty important. He got a plus one to his speed, so he's now 91 speed as well. We've got Tyler Booker, the left guard from Alabama. He goes up plus one to a 92 overall. Finally, have a wide receiver here. The Miami wide receiver, Xavier, going up plus two to a 92 overall. His speed also goes up plus three to a 92 overall. His excel goes up plus two to a 95 overall. So this guy got quite a jump here. He went up three in speed and two in acceleration, which is not something you see very often. So they kind of just had him a little bit underrated in that department. And he's gone up quite a bit this year. He is the 58th ranked player in the entire game now. And to start the year, he was outside of the top 75. And here we have yet another halfback, Kyle Manungai. He goes up plus one to a 92 overall. A lot of halfbacks moving in this update. Up next, we've got Derek Harmon, who went up plus one to a 91 overall. I think this is his second time going up this year. He's had a really good season. And then we've got Sebastian Castro. He's actually going down. He's going down, I think, quite a bit this year, if I remember correctly. He's going down in this update one to a 91 overall. He is the 87th ranked player in the game, but to start the year, he was inside of the top 50. We got another left end as well here. We've had quite a few of these guys moving around. Antoine Powell Ryland, he's going up plus one to a 91 overall. Now those were the top 100 players, but EA did put out some more graphics on their Twitter. And here they have the top five offensive freshman ratings update. So I don't know that all these guys moved up in this update. I don't think Jeremiah Smith or Ryan Williams did because I believe they were already 90 overall. But this is basically the updated top five offensive freshmen. You've got Jeremiah Smith and Ryan Williams at 90. Jordan Seaton at an 85, Caden Durham at an 85, and Ahmad Hardy at an 85 as well. And here are the top five defensive freshmen. You've got Dylan Stewart at an 87 overall, Kylan Simmons at an 86, KJ Bolden at an 84, Coy Perich at an 83, and OJ Frederick at an 83 overall. Now, yesterday, we also got some pretty interesting leaks as it pertains to College Football 26. And if you happen to miss out on that and you want to know about the things that are coming soon, make sure to check out this video right here on the screen. 